Hello, my friends. Get ready for a dazzling light show in the night sky. In 2026, we are in for an amazing celestial event. We're talking about the Geminid meteor shower, and it's going to be amazing. This is one you won't want to miss. This video will tell you everything you need to know about why this year is so special. We'll explore what causes this amazing shower, the mysterious space rock that creates it, and exactly how you can get the best view. Imagine looking up and seeing one of the most awe-inspiring cosmic spectacles of our lifetime. So, mark your calendars and prepare to be amazed. So what exactly is a meteor shower? You know when you see a shooting star zipping across the sky? That fleeting streak of light is a tiny piece of space dust or rock burning up as it hits our atmosphere. Now, imagine seeing not just one but hundreds of them, all looking like they're flowing from one spot in the sky. It's like a celestial fireworks display. That's a meteor shower. It happens because our own planet Earth is on a journey. As we travel around the sun, we sometimes drive right through a trail of cosmic dust left behind by a comet or an asteroid. When we plow through this stream of debris, these tiny particles, many no bigger than a grain of sand, slam into our atmosphere at incredible speeds and burn up in a brilliant flash of light. Every year, we pass through a few of these, giving us showers like the Perseids in August and the Leonids in November, but one of them is the King. It's known for being super bright, reliable, and for putting on an incredible show. We're talking about the Geminids. And in December 2026, the King is putting on a royal performance. The Geminids are active every year from about December 4th to the 17th. They get their name because the meteors seem to fly out from the constellation Gemini the Twins. And what makes them so special isn't just how many you can see, but the meteors themselves. They're often bold, bright, and can be very colorful. They travel a bit slower than other meteors, which means they stick around in the sky just a little bit longer, sometimes leaving glowing trails that hang in the air for a second. It's a sight you won't forget. Now here's where things get interesting. Every great story needs a great character, right? Well, the story of the Geminids has one of the weirdest objects in our solar system. For years, scientists were stumped. Most meteor showers come from icy comets. But when they traced the path of the Geminids, they found something else. In 1983, they found a rocky asteroid. It was the first time an asteroid had ever been linked to a meteor shower. Its name is 3200 Phaethon, and it's a total rule breaker. Phaethon's orbit is bizarre. It swings way out past Mars and then dives incredibly close to the Sun, closer than any other named asteroid. At its closest point, it gets cooked by temperatures over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists think this extreme heat is what causes the asteroid to crack and crumble, leaving behind the trail of rocky debris. That becomes our Geminid meteor shower. Because it looks like a rock but acts like a comet, it has this awesome nickname, the Rock Comet. And it gets even weirder. Recent observations have found that Phaethon is a rare blue color, probably from being so intensely sun-baked. And get this. For years, scientists thought the little tail they saw on Phaethon was made of dust. But new research showed it's actually made of sodium gas. This was a complete surprise. And while the gas explains the tail, it doesn't explain the massive debris trail that creates the Geminids. Where did all those meteoroids come from? Was there a massive collision or a breakup in its past? The rock comet is holding on to its secrets, leaving us with a beautiful mystery in the sky. So why is the 2026 Geminid meteor shower the one you really have to see? Why is this particular year going to be so great? It all comes down to a perfect combination of factors that will create an unforgettable show. First, the meteor rate. One of the biggest reasons the Geminids are so popular is their incredible number of meteors. Under perfect dark skies, you could see up to 120 meteors per hour during the peak. That's like seeing two shooting stars every single minute. It's an absolute peak performance for the Geminids, making it one of the best shows of the decade. The second critical factor is the moon. For anyone who loves watching meteor showers, a bright moon can be a real party crasher, washing out all the dimmer meteors. But in 2026, we get some fantastic luck. The peak of the shower is on the night of December 13th and into the morning of the 14th. 
During this time, the moon is in its first quarter. It will be out in the early evening, but it sets right around midnight. This is amazing news because the absolute best time to watch from midnight until dawn will have a completely dark, moonless sky. This is what makes the 2026 shower a truly unmissable event. If you are finding this journey into the heart of the cosmos as fascinating as I am, and you want to be kept informed about more incredible celestial events like this one, then take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Join our community of stargazers and never miss another chance to look up in wonder. We've explored the science and the timing, but what about the title of this video, Golden Tears? Where does that come from? It's not a traditional name you'll find in an old textbook. Instead, it's a way to capture the incredible feeling of watching this specific event. The golden part is actually rooted in science. One of the coolest things about the Geminid Meteor Shower is their dazzling display of colors. It all comes down to the ingredients. The tiny bits of rock from 3200 Phaethon are rich in different minerals. When they hit our atmosphere and get super hot, different metals create different colors. Sodium, for example, gives off a brilliant golden yellow light, while iron can look yellowish green. So when you see a Geminid, you are literally watching bits of an asteroid paint the sky. The tears part connects us to how people have seen these events for thousands of years. Before we understood the science, shooting stars were seen as messages from the gods. The most famous example is the Perseid meteor shower in August, which happens around the same time as the festival of St. Lawrence. For centuries, the Perseids have been called the Tears of St. Lawrence, so while Golden Tears isn't an ancient name for the Geminids, it taps into that same human feeling. These aren't tears of sorrow, but tears of awe and wonder. In a world that can feel pretty divided, a meteor shower is something that connects all of us. Everyone under the same night sky can look up and see the same golden streaks. It's a moment of connection, a beautiful reminder of our place in this vast universe. You know the why, the what, and the when. Now for the most important part, the how. Here are my tips for viewing the Geminids. First, find a dark location. Light pollution is the number one enemy of stargazing. Get away from the city lights and find a spot with a big open view of the sky. The darker the location, the more meteors you will see. Simple as that. Second is timing. The peak night is December 13th going into the early morning of December 14th. The show gets better as the night goes on. So, the best time to watch is between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. your local time. I know it's late, but it will be worth it. Third, get comfortable and dress warmly. December nights can be chilly, so bundle up in layers, a hat, gloves, and warm socks. Bring a blanket or a reclining chair so you can lie back and relax while you watch the show. A thermos with a hot drink is always a good idea. Fourth, you don't need a telescope. Meteor showers are best seen with just your eyes. Let your eyes fully adjust to the darkness for at least 20 minutes, and that means putting your phone away. A red flashlight is great if you need to see, as it won't ruin your night vision. Finally, be patient and just enjoy it. Don't stare at just one spot. Lie back and take in the whole sky. You'll see meteors everywhere. This isn't a race, it's an experience you won't want to miss. So there you have it, my friends. In December 2026, Earth will fly through the mysterious debris trail of the rock comet, 3,200 Phaethon, one more time. For a few special moonless hours, our sky will be painted with streaks of golden light. These golden tears are more than just a meteor shower. They are a breathtaking display of nature's power and beauty. They're a reminder that we live in an active, amazing cosmos, and we get to be a part of it. It's a chance to pause our busy lives, step out into the cold night, and just look up. So mark your calendar, gather your loved ones, and prepare to be amazed by the magic of the night sky. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the 2026 Geminid Meteor Shower. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share the video, and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Until next time, keep looking up.